Yo, Dad, what's up? Hey, what's up? P pretty much people are going to be thinking that I use you for views, which I am. I'm not mm. going to lie. But w what did you tell me earlier? Do some sport. Why? Yeah, because look. Huh, go check your, you check on your, on your mirror. You look terrible. <laughs> no. Do some sport. This was me. As a kid, I was super insecure about being skinny fat. But I mean, come on. I played video games all day. My dad was a pastry chef. Like, guys, it, it could have been worse. The point is, I've always been a bit chubby up until high school graduation. Until I decided to lose some weight. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, you could see my ribs, and I mean, bro, like, what's that? N not the tan line, but those arms, bro, like, wh what is that? So I decided to document my journey and finally change things for good. Okay, I currently weigh 166.8 pounds, and... But you know what? In a month's time, we're gonna be absolutely shredded, bro. I'm literally gonna do whatever it takes. I'm gonna push my limits so far. To try to get to try to get ripped because like I'm t I just turned 21 like these next couple years is literally going to be my prime Like bro, I'm just a youtuber known for making game gaming setups and like and I want to prove to people that if you put in the work You can literally do whatever you want Dude, I'm so, I'm so dude. I'm so white right now Whoa Welcome to new playground and this is how I'm gonna get the dream body that I've always wanted. I failed so many times in the past, so I think it was about time to look up to someone that knows what he's doing. If I wanna look shredded like Conor McGregor or Mayweather, pretty much any athlete, I gotta be doing what they're doing. And who's gonna show me that? Rudy Ruthless Morales, the first Guatemalan pro MMA fighter to exist. He invited me to his gym, shout out Silver Wolf Training, and wanted to be my sensei and show me the waves. Right. Pretty much he's putting me through what, what he would do right before a fight. Because you're about to experience with some of these professional athletes that risk their health, their bodies for people's entertainment. That's, that's you know, so try to try to visualize like thousands of people, the cameras, everything else. You know? And they're about to close that cage and it's just you versus another individual that wants to knock you out. Now Rudy was putting me through a strict routine. Every day for the next month, I was expected to do 20 minute morning run, 150 push-ups a day, one to two workouts, and also do some sort of martial arts. Bro, I just have to say, I've never really done too much exercise in my life, so on that second day, I felt... I had to take, had to take a, a break. It's only the second day and I feel like throwing up. Now, that was probably because I wasn't used to what I was eating. So now you're probably asking, Frenchie, what were you eating? Well, okay, this is my last normal-ish meal before I eat literally the same thing for the next 30 days. Apparently, I got to trust the process. But pretty much your boy's French, bro. Like, I'm not going to be able to have cheese. I'm not going to be able to have, sp like, spaghetti, bro. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but it's going to be worth it at the end. I know that. Pretty much, this is what I ate. We gotta get those veggies in, cause we gotta get those gains. I'm, I'm not crying. I'm not crying, okay? Dude, this whole entire journey is like just so intense, bro. It's, a, it's just the exercise, it's making my eyes sweat, bro. Ugh, feel the pain. <laughs> feel the pain. Now, did I ever crave some fries or pizza or a delicious In-N-Out burger? Of course, who wouldn't? but I had a specific diet to follow. Now my diet plan was based off of what Rudy had when he had the infamous Mike Dolce help him with his training camp. And if I ever missed the timing or missed out on a meal, I would feel like this. So if I wanted to feel like a beast and be a beast, I couldn't slack off. So I kept on pushing it. I did those push-ups. I did those runs. I was doing boxing and jiu-jitsu. And I kind of got my ass handed to by a girl. But like, I'm pushing my limits, man. Okay? Sensei Rudy was always throwing me off and would just love to mess around with me. Just getting a little bit tired. Let me get with some magic. Open. Three. <laughs> what is that? But come here. I, I want you to get like... <laughs> Love you, Sensei Rudy. But that didn't disregard the fact that I was hella sore. Words cannot describe every single movement. How am I gonna get through this? Oh my god, it hurts when I like breathe out. Dude, how am I supposed to run? How am I supposed to... Ah. Soreness? Ha! Yeah, of course, Sensei Rudy. He, he probably knows how to fix that, right? You want a straw? A straw? Yeah, so you can suck it up. 
Oh, <laughs> funny. <sighs> Sensei. Sensei Rudy. Those bass you told me to take did help a lot, though. I'll say it at once, and I'll say it again. This is gonna be testing my mental. Every day is torture. But this channel is all about pushing limits and being the best you and being unique, being, being different from everyone else. Like, like do what others don't, you know? That's the whole point behind the, the original content movement. I'm sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> and when I say go, squat down more. So just so you know, we have sweet pain. Sweet pain is the pain we want. Yeah. And there's real pain. We don't want real pain. Real pain breaks joints, muscles, yeah. stops you from living life. We want sweet pain. Are you in sweet pain? Yeah. Yeah, what? Okay. Go. But guys, I had to take this seriously. I can't have send this. I gotta go for the full send. I'm only giving myself 30 days to make this change. <sighs> Whose day is it today? It's my day. There you go. Whose day is it today, Frenchie? Push it. Faster. It's okay, take a break. How do you feel right now? Horrible. I need to breathe. There you go, breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Yeah, so for some reason, I would just forget to breathe. Or like you'll see later in the video, I almost hyperventilated. Okay, so it's only like the first week and your boy's been sparring people literally, or like rolling as they say in like jujitsu. Bro, ch ch check this out. Bro, <laughs> I am getting beat up, bro. Like, bro, dude, and that's only after like a few days. I mean, we still got like three and a half weeks to go, bro. <laughs> I'm sore. I'm sore. Now for one of my favorite parts, the recovery. You see, I, I just thought this was gonna be normal, you know, doing some stretches, you know, taking it pretty chill, but no. Of course, it has to come with some surprises. What are we doing? I don't know how to say this. What are we doing? What? You feel great? Yeah, I, feel, I feel good right now. Ice bath time. Ice bath? Yeah. Wait, wait. Today? Yeah. Because your body's so relaxed. Today? Yes. Oh. Ice is food. Doing it anyways. Yeah! Ice. Look. Ice. 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 Look. That's nothing. It's nothing. I got this. This is the moment I knew I messed up. You see, again with the breathing. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Only thing no, is, instead no, of no, holding no, my no, breath no. in, I was about to hyperventilate. Control your breathing. You know, when you in it, you're like, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna hyperventilate. So control, breathe, just control your breathing. It's something you're not used to. You did a lot better than me the first time I did it. Really? Yeah, I was I was squealing like a little, like a pig. <laughs> so, I tried again. <sighs> now, if you don't move, you're gonna completely feel numb. Good job, Frenchie. Close your eyes. I hate this. Breathe. Well, I ended up staying over five minutes in that ice cold bath. And let me tell you, it felt. Walk us through how you feel right now underneath the water. Numb. Numb, right? Shaking. There you go, control your breathing. Whoa. It's like tingling. Head all the way in and out. Let's go. Head all the way in and out. And you're completely out. Head all the way in and then you get out. So Papa can give you the towel. So don't think about it. Don't hesitate. Up. Ah, oh, that burns. Don't touch me. Very impressed. Very impressed. Scary to see you sitting in your eyes like that, but wow. And little did I know that things were gonna get much harder because the following day when I got my groceries, these lines are crazy, bro. I discovered that everything would change. It was getting hard to find my food. All the gyms were closed. And I'm honestly just not sure if I can make it till the end of the 30 days. So will I be able to do this transformation? That's me to know and you guys to find out. Stay tuned for part two.